You're welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019 on the cusp of COVID. Right now, the, the entire organization has over 30 people. If that is not growth, you see what I meant when I told you we were bringing somebody with results to show? The, the reason why I need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners. So, <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> so he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business man. Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sits small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small, and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. We have a new product from Harvest Multipurpose Cooperative. HMT Summer School Fees Advance is designed to allow you quick access to school fees advances, a 30 days repayment holiday, and the product is at favorable rates. Sign up today for Nuvubuka Summer. You can call or WhatsApp the administrator on 0704 811 469 or check out our website www.worshipharvest.org forward slash harvest multipurpose dash of Business Garage. As you can see, we are broadcasting live from Worship Harvest Gaza, and today I'm very honored to be leading you in prayer with Dr. Stephen Mugabe. My name is Jeremy, and you are welcome. Yes, good morning, everybody. We are delighted to lead you in prayer. Come and we pray for your businesses, and let's establish spiritual strength in the marketplace. Oh, yes. All right, you are welcome. Let me just invite you right now just to begin to lift up your voice and to pray. The Bible says, where two or more are gathered in his name, yes. he is in the midst of them. And we know that God is in the midst of us. Yes. So, Father, we thank you because you are good. We exalt you because you are faithful, Lord. Because sometimes it's easier to focus on the things that are not going well. And yet there is so much good 
happening in our businesses already. So lift up your voice right now and give thanks for your business and for everything that is happening. Father, I want to thank you that you already gave us yes. business ideas thank you, Jesus. and that we started. That was the beginning of breaking through from idea to action. Yes. So thank you, Lord, that you have given us the faith to continue acting on our business ideas. That we have revenue. Thank you, Lord. That we have customers. Thank you, Lord. That we have suppliers who are reliable. Thank you, Jesus. That we have a product. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we have a product. And we thank you that you are always showing us how to improve our product. Yes. We thank you, Jesus, for an opportunity like Business Garage, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to meet with other like-minded kingdom business people and just to grow in our influence in business. We give you thanks for everything that we have been able to accomplish, for everybody that has an office, that has internet, that is able to pay your overheads. We are grateful to God because God is doing it. Father, we thank you because everybody that has a, a recognizable brand people can actually call you and say are you from this company we want to thank god because yes, that is progress yes in the mighty i had my name. voice to thank god for all the businesses that we have that are represented in this space Amen. and online. We yes. thank you, Lord, for all those. They contribute to the GDP of Uganda. Oh, yes. We thank you for the employment that we, we contribute to the economy of yes. this country, Lord. We thank yes. you for all the employers and employees in this space. It's because of yeah. the business ideas that you've given us, your people. Yes. Now, if you are on the YouTube stream, please just send a Thanksgiving point for your business right there in the chat. Just say, I'm thankful to God for cash flow. I'm thankful to God for my employees. I'm thankful to God for my business or whatever it is in line with business. Amen. Yes, um, Pastor Jeremy, as yes. well, we continue to pray to this, uh, this verse, Jeremiah 30, 19. Yeah. Um, then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. Mm. So I think it's time to make merry for all those good milestones yes. that uh, God has brought your way. Mm. Uh, have you celebrated a fifth anniversary, a first anniversary, a 10 year oh, anniversary? Yes. It's time to thank God. Call upon all those times that God has, yeah. those milestones that God has brought. Yes. Have you celebrated a hundred customers? Yes. Five hundred customers? Ten customers? Yes. Consistency. Uh, raise your voice and pray and thank God for this and make yeah. merry with that. Yeah. Because God is calling us to recall those good, uh, His goodness oh, through the yes. milestones He's brought our way. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because we are still open for business. Father, we thank you because your goodness and your faithfulness to us. Father, this morning we just choose to celebrate every milestone, however small. Somebody needs to celebrate their first a million shillings. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to celebrate their first a million shillings. Yes, I know it may seem small. The first person that believed in you. I decided to submit to your vision and to your dream. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We choose to celebrate. We choose to make merry. We choose to give thanks for the progress that we are making in Jesus' mighty name. If you have just joined us, we are praying through Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. And we are on the part that says, I will multiply them. Can I get an amen from the audience? Amen. I will multiply them amen. and they shall not diminish. Wow. Yeah. You know, last week, Abmo shared a scripture with us from First Thessalonians chapter 4, oh, verse 10 to 11. 12. Would you like to yeah. read it? Yeah, sure. Just look for it here. First Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 10 to 11. Yes, it says, And indeed, you do so toward all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But yeah. we urge you, brethren, that you increase more, more and, more, and more. more, that you also aspire to lead a quiet life. 
to mind your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Yes, we urge you that you increase more and more. more. When he says, I will multiply them and they shall not be small. When God gives a word, we believe it. But you know, faith also speaks, like we've been learning, but faith also acts. Yeah? Mm. And so you partner with God in that word for it to come to pass. So let us pray for increase. Let us yes. pray for growth. Let us and pray against any form of smallness yes. in our businesses, first in our minds and then in our businesses. Reso tale kabe soka, mandala bazole beka sik dele bosika. Reso tele kandala bazok redi sika yede. Sate le brayo zonda la baka seka ba 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 ba. Reso tike kandala bazok le tile ra. Father, we just declare, King of Glory, that we will not be small. In accordance with your word, you are multiplying us. And we are partnering with you in that multiplication. We just declare that it is coming to pass. We declare that we will not be small. We declare that we will work with our hands. We declare that we will mind our own business. We declare in the name of Jesus that we will do business the kingdom way. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we will keep a clear record of our accounts we declare that we'll be generous lord because you desire to multiply us you have said to us that we will not be small that you will multiply us and we just declare it over our businesses over every business represented in the room over every business represented online we thank you lord in jesus mighty name amen amen you know as we're praying through that i'm yes. reminded Proverbs 27, 23. Yes. To be diligent, to know the state of your flocks. Yes. And attend to your heart. Oh, yes. The way we are going to grow and multiply. Yes. Is to first be faithful with what God has given us. Uh -huh. Keep good records, keep a database. Yes. Uh, pay taxes, register to be uh, seen by the authorities yes. of Uganda. Yes. legal registered uh, business. Yeah. So to be diligent. So. Yes. I'm praying into this that every businessman shall be diligent yes. to find their business and make be faithful in every little thing. That oh, when, yes. when your hold upon, say, how big is your market? You know your market. Oh, yes. How many customers do you have? What are your margins that yes. you know it? So, Father, I declare that we have Delicate. the mind of Christ that understands everything about our businesses. Delicate. That we, we are good stewards because yes. we've received an inheritance from oh, God yes. and so we are, are like God. We know how to steward what God has given us and to grow it and increase it. Thank you, Lord, that we've learned recently that faithfulness involves increase, that you're showing us how to be diligent in increasing the yes. business you've given us. That we shall not return to you saying that the only thing you gave us is what we have, but that it has multiplied, it has yes. grown, it has filled the earth. Yes. So we thank you that we have the ability to be diligent, we receive yes. it, we embrace it, and we reign in the business world. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yesterday in the Gayaza gathering, Abba was teaching us about faithfulness. And he said faithfulness is not just maintaining the thing as you have been given, but to increase and to improve and to grow and to multiply it. Yes. And so faithfulness in business is growing and multiplying the thing that God has given to you. Amen. Amen. So Father, we thank you for diligence is a man's precious possession. And we just declare that every person on the stream today, every business person is going to be a diligent person. Is going to do the work is going to mind their own business, is going to grow. You have said to us from Isaiah 60, 22, that a little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. And so we declare that, that word is coming to pass in our businesses and that we will be a diligent people. We thank you because you're doing it. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you so much for joining Dr. Steve and I this morning for Business Garage Prayer. We are getting right into it. Please don't 
leave right now but call your friends on because business garage is here thank you so much god bless you Welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business. Business group coaching is back. This business started in 2019. Some music to our God, our faithful God. So I invite you, if you can, to stand up, stay seated wherever you're at, and just join us as we worship God together. Thank you, Jesus, because you are a great God. We exalt you this morning. When all is sin and shame, there is great gift and grace. The love of God is brought a work for our good. When all is sin and shame, there is great gift and grace. The love of God is brought a working for our good. We find pleasure in knowing Him, His presence and very self. The whole universe testifies of His work in the lives. Great is the Lord God. We sing His name renown. His mighty, His own. There is grace enough for thousands to reclaim. There's room enough for all creation and new babes. Oh, there is grace enough for thousands to reclaim. There's room enough for all creation and new babes. We find pleasure in knowing Him. He's presence and very self the whole universe testifies of his work in the lives great is the lord god we sing his name renowned he's awesome say great is the lord god we sing his name renowned One day the light of truth With Him forever We will be and sing His praise Knowing Him, His presence and very self The whole universe Of His work in the light Jesus, say great is the Lord God, we sing his name renowned, he's awesome, yes great is the Lord God, we sing his name renowned, he's mighty, he's awesome, great is the Lord God, we his name is mighty he can do anything we praise you great is the Lord God his mighty 
He's awesome. Say, great is the Lord God. We sing His name renowned. He's awesome. Yeah. We exalt Your name, Jesus. We give You praise, Lord.
Welcome to Business Garage. Everyone in the house here, give a shout of joy to the Lord. Because we are making history, welcome to the first business garage at Worship Harvest Gayaza. Woohoo! Uh, my name is Stephen. I have the honor and privilege of welcoming you to the very first business garage in this area. Huh? If you're in the room, you're making history. And just note this date because later in, in the year you'll know why. Because this is so prophetic for this area. If your business is in Gayaza, it is going to thrive. All right, studio audience, you may take your seats. Um, I'd like to welcome you once again to Business Garage. If you're just tuning in, up ahead, we're continuing our uh, series, Back to Business Basics. And today it's about increase. So Apostle Moses will be back to unleash more, how we can increase. So stay tuned, call on your friends, share the link, make sure they are online. You don't want to grow alone. You want to grow with others so that um, they don't become envious of you, that you share, you have a community to bounce back ideas. So don't be silent, share the link, get out of bed, be alert. Um, and be ready because up ahead, a lot is in store for you. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome anyone who's here for the very first time uh, on Business Garage, online and in the room. A warm welcome to you. Uh, uh, continue coming to Business Garage. Your business will be better and better. Now, I'd like to tell you more about Worship Harvest. We are a movement of the gospel, discipleship and mission. And we exist solely for the purpose of catalyzing spiritual, social, and economic renewal in our immediate communities. And as a result, the world. We also believe that church begins on Monday, and Sunday is garage time. Pay, pay. So, as we continue to worship the Lord, I would like to welcome you to worship the Lord with your treasure. Um, get your wallet, get your money. If you're online, and the numbers to give will be running on the screen. Uh, take note of them and, sh and uh, share. Uh, you can send your giving through those numbers. I would just like to declare with you that, Father, we thank you that you've given to us. So we come back to you to recognize you as our giver, our provider. Thank you for giving us business. Thank you for giving us something to come to garage with to say that you are our Lord and Savior. Amen.
what's my response to this kind of love for all the high and deeper than I've ever known let my life be an
welcome yet again to an amazing month where we're going to share very interesting stuff about business business group coaching is back this business started in 2019 on the cusp of covid right now the, the entire organization has over 30 people if that is not growth you see what i meant when i told you we were bringing somebody with results to show that the reason why i need to have this is that people who follow me are mostly sinners so, <laughs> <laughs> so they need to hear the word of the lord <laughs> So he knew how to calculate cost of goods, he knew how to purchase, he knew how to price, he knew how to repair, he knew even how to collect debts. You strongly believe Jesus was a business? Yes. Anyone who sets up a business to work in it, you created a job for yourself, that business will fail. When the leader sees small, yeah. the business is definitely going to stay small. small and so is everyone in it trapped in the smallness. Exactly. You who think the business people are not in kingdom business. Ooh. Come on, put your hands together. Studio audience, is that how you celebrate? Hey, what a blessing. Welcome to an extraordinary business garage. As you can hear from my voice, we've been shouting all weekend here at Worship Harvest Gayaza because something unusual is happening. For the very first time, we are bringing you business garage from another place in Uganda, a place called Gayaza. Yeah, and, uh, yeah and, and, and it's about to become a city because we have a special visit. So anytime now malls are going to start going up, I mean when business garage comes, it means the economy is shifting where we are. We are really serious about it. So if you're joining us, share the link, share the link, share the link. If you're in the area, you can put on your clothes. You know those things you do on Zoom, where your makeup, put on your clothes, show up as if you bathed already long ago. What a shock. Apostle is here. Have you heard his voice? <laughs> wow. Welcome, Apostle. Wow. Thank you. The people at home who are watching us should yeah. sit down if you are standing. <laughs> uh, those in the studio should sit down if you are standing <laughs> so that the people behind can see. All right. Well, it's a, a delight to be here on Business Garage again, coming, li coming to you live from Worship Harvest Gayaza in their cathedral, hey, yeah. which has tiles. Hey, please tell them. And, uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, amen. Amen. <laughs> so, Apostle, congratulations to you, you and the uh, Worship of Gayaza team uh, 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 for this beautiful uh, uh, space. Uh, what I can say is that it's good to belong to a good family. You know those kids who be driving at university? There was a young girl, I can't forget her. She used to drive a BMW. But we all knew it was her parents' money. So as you're hearing the apostle congratulating worship harvest Gayaza, we know things. Yeah, that when you belong to a good family and you have good parents who are wealthy, good things come to you. Amen. Including business garage. So we continue our time together. I'm serious. Share the link. And I think that uh, there will be something for the most active participants. Just like last week, me, I, these days I give away things on behalf of apostles. So, yeah. That's how it no, works. No, I can, I can tell you eh. that uh, <laughs> this time we are giving home-baked yeah! packages. Oh, yes. We are giving home-baked packages to the 10 to the most active. 10 impact. most active. That's from home-baked. Yes, the we company. are the ones, yes. Home-baked is giving home-baked. Treats. Now, even on my way here, uh -huh. I, I, I munched on one of those home-baked things because... <laughs> Yeah, energy was eluding me, so I said, what's the solution? Home-baked. Home baked. I hey. like it. I like it so much. Yeah, the so, 10 most active people. So, yeah. yeah. Now, also, don't just put fire emojis. Please. Eh? By active, we don't mean emojis. We mean meaningful engagement. Yes. You type something that makes sense in <laughs> regard to the conversation we're having. I would, like to, I would like those who are picking the participation... Uh, not to go, don't fall for the emojis, please. Don't go for, 
Uh, this one, what kiss kisses, what wow. laughter laughter, <laughs> fire fire, hundred fire, hundred. We've seen fire already. <laughs> what? No, we've seen too much fire. So, by by participation, we mean meaningful engagement yes. in relation to the topic yes. th of discussion this morning. So, yeah, <laughs> if you want to win yourself a home baked package, come on, that should be your overall strategy. Otherwise, if you are just I don't firing, know. Fire, fire, fire may, may not work. It's not going to work. Yeah. Hey. hey. So, Apostle, we've been doing a powerful series called Back to Basics. Yes, Back to the Basics back of Business. Back to the Basics, yeah, of business, of finance. Mm. Yeah, and so Business Garage is not just for people who run businesses. We are all in business. We are all making money. We are all in business. Yeah, Daniel Lapin says uh, a business mm -hmm. is anyone oh. who has customers. That's everyone, Apostle. Yeah. yeah. That's a business. So if you have a job, uh -huh. your boss, your employer, yes. is your number one customer, customer, is your top customer, is your most reliable customer. That's right. And if you treat your employer like a customer, uh -huh. I guarantee you, hey. both your life and hey. your employer's lives will hey. be changed. Amen. For the better. And this is true. Yeah. Because it's the win-win scenario where there are things you do where both sides win. And yeah. then there are things you do where both sides lose, mm. like war. Like war. But if you start treating your employer as a customer, I like that. you're going to have a win-win scenario. That right there is wisdom. Exactly. With someone watching. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, what I advocate. I say, yeah, everyone is in business. A business is anyone who has, with, customers. Who has customers. And that's everyone. That's everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, get, so get out of the habit of thinking that you're not in business. And we've been addressing the five eyes of business basics. Mm. The first one is insight where you spent most of your time, Apostle. And it's one of those that for me, I go back to not just for business, but for life. Because you taught us about living from the inside out, mm. gaining knowledge. I won't get into the detail. Go watch them. Then we went into income. I think we started doing income when? Last week? Yeah, last income week. we did only one only last one. week. Yes. And the essential ingredient of that was money is a reward for solving problems. Exactly. If there are still problems, there is still money. And there are problems. And there are problems. <laughs> and there is money. There is money. So th if you live anywhere where there are problems, you have absolutely no excuse for being broke. Out. Yeah. <laughs> where are people annoyed? I don't know. <laughs> Even the people in the studio, they are trying to get they're, a prize by, oh, by they, also they being online, online instead of being in the room. <laughs> what a shock! Yeah, Apostle, you know, instead things. of it's, <laughs> and, you know, instead of people sharing the link, uh, they are sending fire emojis. No, no, they uh, are not sharing the link because they don't want more competition. No way! That is so bad. <laughs> I know things. Are you really know things? Yeah. yeah, people are not sharing the link because they want fewer. This they are like, so the bad. fewer we are online, the better, the higher the ch chances of me winning. No, 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 no. That's wow. unacceptable. Wow. That is unacceptable. What a shock. So, Apostle, what do you have for us today? Today we want to talk about increase. Let's go. Because that's the core thing. Mm. Someone said you'll never get to rich spending. Yeah, just think about it if you want to use your brain. Ouch. You will never get rich spending. Wow. And the phenomenon I have seen in Uganda, Uganda, we are the second most entrepreneurial country in the world. What? So making money is not, not a problem. problem. In fact, the moment you leave okay. Uganda, huh? mm. unless you're going to Peru, mm -mm, no. In which Why? case, and you have to speak Spanish to go there. Okay. The moment you leave Uganda, mm. it just became harder for you to make money. Because really? Yeah. The moment you, you get a, a visa, anything, and say, I'm leaving, out. it just got harder for you to make money. Wow. Because apart from Peru, this is the easiest country in which you can start a business and make money in the whole world. Wow. Now, of course, the only problem with Peru is you'll have to speak Spanish. It's okay. So I'm not going there. That automatically cuts out a lot of people. Yeah. So, ma ma making money is not our problem. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. What is our problem? Keeping money. <laughs> Keeping money. <laughs> Guarding money. It's true, Apostle. Preventing money from saying bye to us. Hey. 
which it does very frequently. Mm. And how do people get rich? Uh -huh. richest, the richest man in Babylon uses a very simple concept. Mm. If every time mm -hmm. you, you get 10 eggs into a basket, yeah. remove nine mm -hmm. and leave one. Leave one alone. If you do that repeatedly, soon the basket will be full of it's eggs. It's so true. Repeatedly. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Getting wealth is simple. Wow. Spend less than you make. Straightforward. Financial growth is a book. Where is our book? Hmm. Now, someone is going to say, but this is business garage. Hey. The same head <laughs> that spends more than they make at home <laughs> is the same head that spends more than the business makes at work eh, eh. because it is the same head. It's the same head. The same principle for creating wealth at a personal level yeah. is the same principle for creating wealth at in the business. business. Yeah. Every time you make money as a business, yeah. before anything else, you get a small a percentage of that money and put it aside. Yeah. And you all agree that that money belongs to the business. It doesn't yes. belong to any of you. Yes, sir. That's how the business grows. Because the business then has its own money. Yes. But what people do mostly is spend all they make. I used to do that. Okay. Mm. And in some rare cases of people who are e extremely ingenious, mm -hmm. and they think they are, me. they are bigger than the Bible, <laughs> they even spend more than they make. Uh, how? That's, uh, uh, me, I'll not that's a miracle. <laughs> now, spend next more than Sunday. Make. Hey. Is the last in our series in this series oh, of back, back to, to basics. basics, yes. And since Mr. Grace Mira is in the house, yeah, who has implored me repeatedly, yeah, we will talk about debt mama, next mama, Sunday. Mama. Apostle, debt. Whoa, it's sensitive, yeah. Eli Wamara, no, who is the guy? Who is it? Alex Mukolo, uh -huh. who what sang a song. Say? What did he say? That thing is true. He knows things. <laughs> so, <laughs> that you have, you have, you have, you have That's tickled for next us. Sunday. Okay. But for today, I want us to focus on increase. Increase. There's a book called Profit First. Eh. Eh. Profit First. That book. Now, in most businesses, People operate with the idea of revenue uh -huh. minus expenses uh -huh. equals profit. Yes. Right? Yes. You make money, yeah. pay off the suppliers, the suppliers what people, employees, employer, employees, everything. Yes. Then what is left? Mm. Profit. Mm. Now, what happens is that in most cases, yeah. The business expenses, mm. just like in your personal life, yes. will always rise up to meet the exact revenue available. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> they meet. Such that what is left will always be zero. zero. So the person who wrote Profit First, I, I know uh, Grace Minira is going to remind us. The name. I just the see name. like a read book. But uh, he says his mission is to eliminate entrepreneurial poverty. Bambi. Like entrepreneurs are poor but because how? they spend all the money they make in the business. Be and they think that somehow you, you think one day you'll make so much money you'll have a profit. It will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. So, but what's the solution? So, it is, you have to look at it this way mm -hmm. revenue uh -huh. minus profit yeah. equals expenses. Uh -uh. Revenue minus profit equals expenses. So are you saying we predetermine the profit? Exactly. Calculate the profit and start putting it away. Where? In another account. If you are running a business, you should have at least five <laughs> accounts. <laughs> you should have the operations account out of which you pay uh, operating, yes, operating costs. Operating costs uh -huh. 
account if you have one. staff staff members you should have a human resource account okay especially if you're a service company mm. staffing is a very high part of your Expedition. your expenses mm. so instead of getting a, a running stomach <laughs> every last week of the month. <laughs> uh, uh, but where are the people in studio? I'm telling you, <laughs> they're, they're all online. Yeah. So these I people are know. online. Don't worry. For us, let's do our no, thing. Oh, they are real online. Yeah. <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of getting a running stomach every end of month. Uh, because you're thinking about how you'll get money. How you will pay salaries. You actually borrow to pay salaries. Set up, put an account yeah. where you put that used to happen to us also in We used to. Hey, Apostle. We used to have issues every end of month. Mm, I remember. Because we would spend all the money as every sun, every week as yes. it came. Yes. And then somehow we would expect God to pull off a of miracle. Of course, he's good. And bring more money in the last week so we can pay salaries. And it never happened. So because <laughs> I was the leader, I used to always get paid the next week. Bambi. Because I, I, there was not enough money to pay everyone. And then when we, set, when we put aside that account... I and started putting money into it. Miracle. It started accumulating. Yes. It started accumulating. By the time COVID came, we could pay salaries for a year. Wow. Without income. Yes. And then I handed over salary payment I, I, to the I, I, network I'll never leaders. forget. I will never forget, Apostle. I thought I was going to die. I handed over. <laughs> I got a running stomach the first... You also got the a first, running the, stomach. The first ah. that month. Ah, you yeah, see, yeah, the yeah, people yeah, here yeah, in yeah. the studio... Hey. It is those who have never paid salaries. Uh, 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 that, that, uh, 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 that, what, what, what are they talking about? Because for them, they, they are get there paid. To, re to receive salaries. Yes, suppose so. They don't know how the money comes. Uh, 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 so set, put a salary account. Yes. And grow it. Yes. And grow it. I remember watching Bill Gates one day and said that in those earlier days of Microsoft, yeah. he used to work almost 24 hours. Jesus. And the thing he was working towards, he wanted to be able to pay salaries for one year if they hit a roadblock and they, they didn't have revenue. Because he said he didn't want to lose his best people to the competition in case they had revenue issues. Wow. So he was working for salaries. Wow. To have one year's salary. And he was a young man in his 20s. And he had that kind of wisdom. Wow. That's why Microsoft is where it is now. Okay. It's not just some... Yeah, it's not black. All right. So, <laughs> so we said have a what? Uh, an operations, operations account, account. Have a salary account. Uh, yes. Have, uh -huh. if you are into, you are heavy on product. Mm -hmm. Like me. Heavy on product. Mm. Have a supplier's account. Okay. Yeah. Because people were like in um, hardware. Mm. The margins are so small. Yeah. As, as the customers are buying things, you, you have to have an abundant awareness that that money is not yours. <laughs> it's really for the suppliers. Wow. And if you don't have a supplier's account, that's how you run into... Look, we have a whole supermarket chain which collapsed. Hey, Nakumat. Yes. Because of suppliers. Wow. Yeah, they collapsed. Who thought Nakumat could Never. this was collapsible? Nothing. Now, if Nakumat could collapse, don't think you are you are too wise. Hey, it's a warning. Yeah, you. What percentage of Nakumat Apostle. are you? So, so, Apostle, let's just talk about the accounts. So, yeah, you have to have a supplier's account okay. if you are into uh, product. Product, okay, uh, where it's like. Uh, if, if, say, you, you make 20% or 30% mm -hmm. profit yeah. on sale, gross, it means 70% of all the money belongs to the suppliers. Wow. You can't keep it in a big pool. That's a lot of money to keep in a pool. You must have an account where every time someone buys something for 10,000 shillings, 7,000 7, immediately to is sent account. that very day. To so the supplier's account, mm. out of which you pay the suppliers. Okay. So we've talked about uh, operations. Pro salary. Salary. Suppliers. Suppliers. Uh -huh. You must have a profit account. <clears throat> profit first. Mm. Mm. How does that one work, sir? You work out your profit. Yeah. And realize in this business we are doing, mm. 
the profit per sale or per service is this much. Yeah. And then send that money there. Every time. Every time. Okay. Mm. And then you can have an account for the business. The money that eventually belongs to the business. Because the profit is for the business owners. Hey. But how about the business? So now wh that money for the business, what is that one? Where does it come that from? That money never leaves the business. It is there to always increase To help the business, the business. grow, expand. Always. <clears throat> and after I had I learned this from Grace Minira, after subs and mats. <laughs> <laughs> I sound clever, man. Uh, subs are that substitutes and mathematics. No, no, please. Uh. <clears throat> Subcontractors and materials. Okay. Did you know? Did you know? I'm helping you. Or is it max and subs? Anyway, I don't know which one Just it brings first. It's okay. Materials and subcontractors. So materials will be in your in product. Yeah. And then the, if you are in service and whatever else, there are subcontractors. There are people you always subcontracting to do the work. Yes. Uh, now, wha wha what is left really after that would be your gross profit, if okay. you like. Okay. Okay. Mm. So then, out of that the money that is left, yeah. you at least twenty percent should remain with the company. Ah. Yeah. I, I advocate for 20% yes, big time. Yes. In, in the worship harvest sense, since yep. we are a non profit Please. organization, mm. our 20% goes into building the ministry in terms of land, yep. buildings, yep. etc. So by the time we are doing the rise and build, we have something that people are giving. Always. They are, they are topping They're up. They're topping onto. up. Yeah. So, yeah, well, you know. One day, maybe four, five years ago, mm -hmm. I asked the finance manager then and said, how much did we save in 20% the, the previous yes. year? Yes. And he told me it was about 530 million. Wow. That changed my life. I was like, what? You mean even if we didn't collect money? Yeah, at least yeah. for like these projects. We could buy, that's the time I made a decision that we would buy a property for a location every year. Every year. year. Because wow. it was out of that. It's like with 5.30, yeah. we can buy something for a location every year. Of course, since then, things have gone a lot quicker we and we have been able to buy a lot more. Yeah. But that's, the, that's for a business, even if you're a profit-making business, yeah. that's the money that must stay in the business. Okay. People can't eat it. Okay. Owners can't take it as profit. Okay. Uh, workers can't take it as salary. Even if you're under pressure. Even if you're under pressure, nothing should have. That money stays. Because that means that your business mm. equity yeah. is growing by that much. Okay. Uh, not equity, what's the word? Your, the, your, your the bottom line, what's that thing? Value, no? Net worth. Net worth. Yeah. Yes. The business people are going to give us a more technical term. A better term. word. Okay, so it means you're growing by that percentage. The percentage minimum. of what you're able to save and we keep for the business. Yes, it means your business. So, for example, if your business makes a gross of uh, a billion okay. in a year. Mm, I don't mind. And you take off 200 million. Mm. Mm? Yes. And that 200 million will never leak out of the business. Mm. It doesn't matter what. Yeah, it means me that the value mm. of your business has gone up by 200 million a year. And now if you do that for 20 years, mm. you're, you're, by the time you, you're deciding either to sell the business or leave the business or hand it over to, your, to the next generation, you're handing them a hectic thing with wow. real assets. Yes, real, real yeah, assets. Your asset base has grown up by that much because of your continuous increase. Apostle. And it's not rocket science. Even if it wasn't that much money, let's say you make a profit of 500,000 a month. Yeah. And you keep taking off 100K mm -hmm. a month. Mm. After one year, that will be 1.2 million. Mm. Remember, this money can't leave the business. Okay. And also remember, you may be investing it in assets that are gaining value, Definitely. like property yes. or other non-tangible assets. Yes. 
you see that as you keep going, you realize that your, your business is gaining it's value. That day you value. decide to sell it, it, there is something to sell. Wow. Most people, they, by the time they want to sell the business, there is nothing to sell. Uh, because they are selling out of pressure. Mabanja uh, is too much. Uh, what? They've been go eating the lifeblood out of the business. So, yeah, that's why the 20% is extremely important to me. And some people, by the way, they've come to me and they've confessed that at first they were too clever for their own good. <laughs> then they repented. Then they started doing it. Yeah. And they are seeing yeah. incredible opportunities come their way because they have you see when that money is there you have something to fight with exactly yeah and you can even afford to think some of the thoughts that you thought exactly yeah now but you can't think there those thoughts you'll if never think nothing. yeah mm, as long as there's nothing in the business so the same way it works in the in the in the home, home with personal you finances. personal finance yeah. is the same way it should work in the business okay so and then you could have an account for giving generosity yes, account please. yeah but a person out they after subs like and mats, no. they are not many. If if uh, yeah. No, like the most serious businesses, they will. You find they are running, you know, fifty, or sixty accounts. Okay, I was just. So if you are already joking. stressed with five, <laughs> <laughs> people run many accounts. What? It's just an account. It's like a basket. It says the Lord will bless your, your your Baskets. your storehouses. Uh, it's a, an account is a storehouse. Okay. Yeah. The most storehouses. The, the, the more the opportunity there is. Okay. And then... Mm. There's another one. Mm. Okay. Depending on your scale and what's going on, it might be wise to have a tax account. <laughs> you think? Mm. <laughs> might be wise. Might because be remember wise. that uh, of all the profits you make, yeah. your gross profit, 30% belongs to government. Eh... That's, in, that's corporate tax. So you, you have a, a business partner called government. What a good partner. You may not know, <laughs> but some of the money is theirs. <laughs> and uh, on the road to success, there is a fork. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> one goes to the right, uh -huh. one goes to the left. Oh, now, the one that goes to the right, there is a signpost that says success. The city is called success. Success, yes. And I, like I would advise you to I take like that it one. Very now, much. the other one, I don't know where it goes. Okay. But it doesn't go to success. All right, I don't want it. Now, once uh. you take that right turn and eh. you start going towards success, what hmm? happens? Whether you like, whether what, whether what, whether what, whether what, you will find a roadblock called eh? the taxman. Ah. ah. <laughs> Can't I avoid it? Is there a shortcut no, somewhere no, no, the no. way there? They are not there. <laughs> the only way to avoid it eh. is don't take the road to success. Eh? Uh -uh. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. If you no, don't no, want to no, run no. into the roadblock called taxman, don't take the road to success. But if you take the road to success, eh. the roadblock called taxman is waiting for you. Oh no. And they can they can take you to pre creation days. <laughs> so how do you I'm deal so with bad. it? Start paying your taxes <laughs> now before you take the fork towards success. And the <laughs> easiest way to do that is to have an account where, you know, this percentage is tax. So just keep banking it. Keep okay. banking it. Keep banking it. And yeah. Just keep banking it. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't mind. Yeah. Mm. I'm telling you, it's easy. We it's, are it really make it is. Difficult. Once you make a decision, exactly, it's not difficult. And, but it's you like, stick with it. It's like how many chairs do you want in your sitting room? Me. Mm. Why? What determines the number of chairs you have in your sitting room? The space, the spy size of my space. Not entirely. The number my of guests you're expecting. Okay. Yeah. This Why is have true. three chairs when you're expecting ten guests? This is so true. Why have three accounts when you're expecting 10 regular payments that I'm, I must? Apostle, you are speaking good things. Okay. Me, I'm just, maybe people may have better ideas, but eh. I'm sharing my small, eh. small ones here. Eh. Okay. Hmm. Because as we grow, then, in fact, we've seen you do it, even in Worship Harvest. At some point, we didn't have, we had the account where we banked the money. Everything. 
My goodness. <laughs> then the account started I to shut grow. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a savings account, which we later named Projects. Then we got for welfare. Now we have many welfare accounts for the different networks. Then we got the um, operations accounts for all the locations. All the 82 have their operations accounts. Then we've got the church planting account, which you opened, I think, two years ago, which was not there before. And now, because it's there, there's special gifts going there. Then we've, then we've got other accounts. Yeah. If you're going to be spending in a specific direction, the chances are you need an account. If it's regular and, and uh, a good volume of money, chances are you need account, an account to trace. To trace. And, and to f avoid... You know, the reason people are able to hear us nicely, mm. or like when uh, the worship team is singing, yeah. and you can hear the keyboard, you can hear the bass, yes. you can hear the drums, yes. you can hear the singers, yes. is because uh, a gentleman called uh, Edison Mwezi, somewhere yeah. in the back, <laughs> is doing something called mixing. Okay. okay. Now, with mixing, <laughs> is what they call, you isolate frequencies. Okay. There are things that are high frequency mm -hmm. spectrum, mm -hmm. mid 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 range frequency spectrum, mm -hmm. low frequency spectrum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So like the kick of the drum. Now the kick has to go through the low frequency. Okay. Yeah, if you want subsonic mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Subsonic mayhem. You know where you don't hear the thing, you only feel it in yeah, the stomach. That's what I like. I like it so yeah. much, Apostle. Yeah. <laughs> now, if Just you your can tummy. take that same kick, uh, the mic, eh. and you allocate it a different frequency, and then, a high frequency, uh -uh. then it will be like, <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so, that to have that clarity, you must isolate frequencies and okay. know which instrument is dominant in what frequency spectrum. Right. If you say, let everything go through, like, uh, yeah. like a pipe. Yeah. How will it be? Everyone will run out of the <laughs> building. So the reason it's pleasant is because instead of having one, it, I'm going to use a picture people can understand. Okay. That way sound works. Is instead of using like one big pipe, like you know those sewage pipes. Apple, so yes. Hmm? Uh, Instead of using like one big pipe, yeah, where everything goes, uh -huh. it's like it's like a hundred small pipes. Wow! But where the volume is the same volume as, as the, the volume of the pipe. one big pipe, it's just now it's a hundred small Isolated. pipes. Now, what happens if there is a leakage on one of the pipes? How much of the water are you going to lose? Just a little. That just a little through. one. That pipe. That's okay. where the problem is. Okay. Are you guys getting it in terms of finances and accounts? Yes. What happens if there's a, a blockage on one of the pipes? You still have all the other pipes are delivering while there's a blockage on one yep. of the pipes. Completely. Now, when you run your finances like one big pipe, eh, 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 when eh, there is eh, a bust, pipe that, bust, oh, everything. everything has When there is a leakage, the whole everything. business has When there is a blockage, everything. Okay. Yeah, that's how some of your businesses run. It is well. Mm. And so you can't have increase. Anyway, we're no. supposed to talk about increase. That's what so we are talking to, about. To have <laughs> increase, you <laughs> must have this specific account. Yeah which takes in a certain percentage of your revenue, which will never leave the business. Wow. It will never leave the business. Like in worship office, that money goes into projects yeah. and what? That, it will never leave the ministry. No, it will. It yeah, will never. Like you can't come and carry away a column. You carry in the this column. Building. You cannot. <laughs> it will never go. Now, if you bought That's balloons, so you know hey. that once someone <laughs> blows beyond a certain it amount of pressure, it's gone. It has left that the ministry. That money has left the ministry. Yeah, the money has left the ministry. <laughs> if also, you wow. use it to buy mandazi, uh, 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 that the moment really the person leaves. eats the mandazi, it like has this, left the and ministry. then they go to the bathroom, <laughs> the money has left the ministry. <laughs> yeah. If you use it okay, to buy soda, no. when the person drinks the soda and, and their bladder out. gets full and they go to the bathroom, <laughs> the money has left the ministry. Some stays in the ministry. No, 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 no. So I hope people understand. Co uh, completely we are understanding so which is the money that never leaves the business because that means that that business will always be increasing look if we if it's 
a nail down policy like in Washington province that twenty yeah. percent of the giving never yes. leaves. Yes. It means that it doesn't matter what happens. What year it will be, yes. what will be happening yeah. when? Yeah. Every year the ministry will always increase in financial value. Wow. Every year. Wow. Yeah. So that can be the same thing with your business. Yes. Can you imagine running a business where every year That's the value, value the increases. financial value of the business always increases. Apple has so much money, uh -uh. cash reserves. Everyone is scared of it. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think they have cash of about Two hundred billion US dollars. dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's so not for for. That's a nation. It's not for what? For it's what? not for the entrepreneurs. It's not for the company owners. It's not, not for, for the suppliers. Anything. It's just there to for other phone companies to look at you and people. go to the and go to the <laughs> bathroom. Can you imagine <laughs> and have a small running stomach? <laughs> yeah, like your computer has two hundred billion. Uh -uh. Which it's like, okay. Even if they decided to just pull off, take take off twenty million, yeah, to do an advertising campaign. It's okay. Huh? You're finished. Yeah. yeah. They said let's do an ad, ad campaign of fifty million dollars. Now you what do you do? Or if they decide to just take a little bit of their money and also develop a product that is exactly like yours, you the competitor. <laughs> Where they say, oh, we've noticed that these our phones are very good for only this class, but yes. there are other people who would benefit from our technology who can't afford the phones at this price. Mm. Let's make a phone for them. You're we finished. have the money, we have the technology, we have the marketing, yeah. we have the networks, we have the shops. You can't compete. So it's as if they are just having mass on you not to do My it. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But what happens when your business has no uh -uh. money? You can't fight. You, you can't, can't do anything. Mm, yeah. You can't dream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you people, you're not, you're not engaging, asking questions. For me, you answered the question. I had written a question down saying, how do I prevent the money from leaking? I mm -hmm. will never forget the small pipes. Compare, separate. Create separation. Create. But even in terms of separation, Apostle. Uh, so what the thing you've talked about is the money that will never leave by talking about like worship harvest assets. Mm. When you buy assets, you don't just put it on an account and it stays there. But some, it's, it's, it's the value of it in assets, in, in land, in buildings, in investments, in other spaces, yeah. just for the business. You have to be investing for increase okay. yeah, for the business. Now, think about, uh, since we are talking church terms, there's yes, a sir. church called uh, the Church of, of the Latter Day of Jesus Christ. Latter Day Saints. Latter Day Saints. <laughs> also known as the Mormons. Yes, sir. Now, of course, we all have serious disagreements mm. about their theology. Mm. Okay? As in, it can't get more serious than it is in terms of our disagreements. It really their, can't. With their theology. Okay? Naye, here is the thing. <laughs> about 100 years ago, they became bankrupt. Mm? They were about to be bankrupt. 100 years ago? Yes. Now, the, they're saying the picture is frozen. Mm, I even think me, that's I can true. see even it's frozen. Me, I, I feel like it's frozen, but mm, can they hear us? I we think... We can keep going if they can hear us while, yeah. while they unfreeze the picture. The tech team is about to talk to us a little bit. Any time now. They because can hear us. Most of our engagement okay. is online. We don't Excellent. want to lose. They can hear uh, us. The picture will be back. All right. Picture mm. will be back. Okay, so uh, the church, the, the Mormons. Yes, a hundred years ago, you said they went they bankrupt. They were bankrupt. Which I can't, it's hard to believe. So they formed a team okay. which was to work out a way of investing a part of the church's income. Okay. Okay. Mm. So these were real professional investors. All right. Like uh, investors, not, not, the, not just the spiritual mm -mm. demagogues. Not okay? just spiritual people. All right. So, of course. They were so spiritual. Mm -hmm. Then they started working, getting a, a part of the church's money yeah. and investing it into different assets that they thought would help it grow. Today, Today the Mormon church has uh, assets more than a hundred billion dollars. It's okay. 
more than $100 billion. Eh? Eh. Their advisory company is called the Ensign Peak Advisors. Okay. There is a website, I don't know if it still exists, where they, they detail some of their uh, investments. investments. Mm. When I printed out the investments, <laughs> okay? <course> so. <laughs> huh? mm. it was 46 pages. Uh -uh. Not companies. Ah, okay, I was going to say, is it pages. a company per page? No, no, no. Pages, like how you have a, 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 a F4. Yeah. And then you print 46. Imagine Worship Harvest has 46 pages. I receive pages it. We will of, be there. Of, of investments. Yes. And these were, only, these, were, these were only stock investments. Eh? This doesn't include buildings, properties, and other. No, no. These are only stocks. Yeah. 46 pages. I don't know if, if you are understanding what I'm talking I'm about. I'm trying. Like they have, I think, 1.3 billion in Microsoft. One, at that time, they had 1. Point something billion in Facebook, almost a billion in Google, uh, 1.2 billion in the Apple. companies he's mentioning. <laughs> uh, they have in all. They have assets in all the airlines. Uh -uh. So it means if this airline is doing well, they are doing, and well. then this other airline is doing badly because this airline is doing well. It's okay. They have covered all <laughs> the bases, <laughs> all the airlines, all the pharmaceutical companies. So if you took a COVID test, whatever, yeah. uh, what's uh, that thing? A short vaccine. Vaccine. You were supporting the moment. Wow. Yeah, because they 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 have. They, Look, like then, matter anything, which, which one it yeah. was. It's only two things they don't invest in. Yeah. Anything with caffeine in it. Oh. So they are not in Starbucks, they are not in Coca Cola. And anything with smoking. So they are not in uh, all the smoking companies. Okay. And alcohol. And alcohol. So alcohol, caffeine, smoke, they are, they are not. Everything else, they are invested in it. They have the biggest cattle ranch in the world, the biggest beef. Cattle ranch in the world, beef. Beef. Yeah, biggest. We don't know what to say, sir. They have the biggest shopping mall in uh, what's the city where they are based? Salt Lake City. Mm. Among other things. Among other things. Yeah. So that's why they can send people. Yeah. Two by two into your village wearing white and white black. White and black, yes. Have you seen uh, them? And knocking yeah. on every knocking door. On doors. Two by two. They have yeah. enough money to send missionaries anywhere. Why? They went from being bankrupt e exactly. to investing the resources of the organization. And time is on your side. And time is on your side Always. if you're an investor. Yes. If you're just consuming what, 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 we can't help you. Mm. But if you really want increase, yeah. it's not rocket science. Okay. If you're making a million a, 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 a week, a week, take off 200,000. Put it in a separate account. Religious. And it will yeah. never leave. That's 800K by the month. end of the month. Uh, times 12, that's 9.6 million by the end of the year. Yes. Two, three years, that's like 40 million. Yes. You buy a property, a piece of land for the business. Mm. You know, by the way, once you buy property, mm. you've created a problem. Uh -huh. That business. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why? It has, an, it has property. Yeah, because what are you going to do with the thing? <laughs> Very hard. Wow. Yeah. You can only maybe sell the business, but you can't just say, ah, we... You and I, we are business partners. Yeah. We have disagreed. I don't like you. I also don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. We go. Yeah. But yeah. now there is there something. There's, there's Three storage there's... structure. Come what are you going now. to do? What a good problem. You can't cut it in half. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And then take it where? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once, once, you have, once you get into real estate, 
you are starting to entrench the business yes, to into to become it. a generational mm. business. You can no longer just wish it away. All right. That's the same thing with the church. Hey. Once the church starts owning property, the pastors can disagree all they want. Mm. You disagree until you go away. Yeah. But now the congregation has a place to they call have a place. their own. Mm. You, you disagree and go. <laughs> the, congregation the congregation will sort themselves it's out. It's true. Yeah. yeah. A church that doesn't have property. Ah. Once the pastors disagree, you just say, ah, there is no more services. Yeah, the landlord has no closed more. the place. Mm, mm, the landlord. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you go find ah. another church to belong to. Oh, no. That happens a lot, by the way. Don't think we are wrong about things that are not there. No. But a church that has property, like now, this church, you yes, can't sir. wish it away. Come on they now. Are not, they are not renting they are not borrowing it's, it's here you you're, you're like so it's, much it's peace. a problem it's a good problem yeah. for the devil <laughs> oh yes so yeah. yes that's i say eh. increase 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 and get into some real estate so no one can ever wish you away okay over to you eh. Thank you so much, Apostle. You've given such practical wisdom. My hope is that those of us in the room, those of us watching, let's go and do these things. Let's go and real do these things so that we don't be the people who are in the, in the church, in the movement that is teaching these things, leaving them out at the ministry and movement level, and then in our personal finances, and in our business finances, it's different. It really works. I am telling you that it works. From experience in the ministry, from experience in business, you know, it works. From personal experience, it works. But it works when you work it. You have to actually get the money, put it away, leave it alone. So make the money, keep the money, preserve it by putting it in assets, buildings, lands, things that can increase. And that's how increase comes. Increase doesn't come by prayer. It comes by <laughs> work, saving, and investing. Thank you so much, Apostle, for the wisdom you've given us today. Studio audience, can you help me celebrate him and thank him so much for such an insightful time today? Online, I know that the tech team has worked out who are the 10 most active people. Remember to, we'll get your names. I don't know how we'll then get your contact information. All right, excellent. These are the most active. Sembatia Henry, Tracy Beatrice Birunji, Emily Ragarukayo, Ankunda Bridget, Nalule Georgia, Pastor Susan Nasaka, Okelo Joshua Ngobi, Pato Philanthropist, Andrew Timothy Kamugasa, Achola Bridget. You're going to send your phone contacts, okay? Your name and your phone number to our usual number that we use for salvations. And the home bake team will get in touch with you and deliver to you your treats this week. Thank you for engaging. We are excited about that, all right? Now listen, those of you who have been watching, you're in the room here today, and you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, the greatest investment you'll ever make with your life is to give it to Jesus. The one who made you, the one who has plans for you, and the one who wants to give you a life of real, true increase, a life of purpose, a life that brings more life while you're alive. And then when you meet Jesus, you will also experience increase. So we want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus right now. If you're here in the room and you've never met Jesus, Lord of your life, today is the day of salvation. I'd like you to just put your hand up where you are. Just put your hand up where you are if you're here in the room or online. And you want to give your life to Jesus. Yes. Yes. People online, people in the room, yes. people in the studio. Yes. This is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Tomorrow is not the day. It's today. When you give your life to Jesus, he gives it meaning. He gives it significance. He comes and makes his home in your life and changes it for good. So if you're here, is there someone in the room here today? And you say, you know what? I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to start a new life. I want to know this God you're talking about who brings increase and significance or online if you're watching if you're there today you can put your hand up if you're in the room if you're online I'd like you to pray this prayer after me say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I receive you today, receive you today as, my Lord, as my Lord and as my Savior, as my Savior. 
I give you my life. Forgive me of all my sins. And give me a new beginning. From today, I am a child of God. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you made that decision and you prayed that prayer, you are born again. We would like to walk with you. And I want you to send us a message right now. Stop what you're doing. Send a message to this number, 0775-642449. If you're outside Uganda, that's plus 256 Seven seven five six four two four four nine. Let us know that I received Jesus today and we'll get in touch with you, connect you to a loving family and help walk with you so that there's no chance of the enemy robbing you. And of course, those of you who were the most active, remember to send to that same number to let us know that I was, I won a home-baked package today and we'll get in touch with you. We'll see you again next week. Same place, same time for Business Garage as we do our finale of Back to Basics and we'll be talking about debt. I know you want to tune in. You want to bring your friends and family to tune in, your workmates. Listen, we must conquer debt in our generation. So get people to tune in like crazy. Come for Business Garage live at Worship Harvest Nalia. It's, eh? At Gayaza? Uh, it will be at Nalia. <laughs> you, it will be at Nalia live. And uh, people are trying to bring you back. Are you seeing these ones? <laughs> you, my friend, there are levels. Eh? So, and of course, at 9 a.m., Apostle will be here again. We'll have live from Worship Harvest Gayaza. So if you've never had a live experience in the 9 o'clock and you're nearby, come. We are ready for you. We are prepared for you. It's going to be fantastic. And, and even 11.30, he'll still be here so you can come. All our other locations are open for garage still, so you can go there. It will still be wonderful, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining us. It's been wonderful. Bye. You're blessed.